Okay. So let us now try to understand how a lexical analyzer works. Okay. So let me write it down. Lexical analyzer works. So, uh, so as we have discussed earlier, so the first stage of compilation was the lexical analyzer. analyzer and it produces tokens and fit it to what we call as a syntax checker so actually in the compiler the syntax checker or the parser is the master okay so what it first does it first sends a request to the lexical analyzer that okay give me the next token by reading the input string okay now the lexical analyzer will do its processing will try to match the maximum possible substring available in the input string with a given pattern and create a token and then it sends this token to the syntax checker as soon as it sends that it it gets suspended okay till the syntax checker sends another request for a given token understand so let us write it down syntax checker in a compiler serves as the master program okay what does this mean this means it first sends a request to get a valid token from the lexical analyzer Then what lexical analyzer does? Lexical analyzer or scanner, scanner then do its pattern matching to create a valid token if possible and then sends back to syntax checker. As soon as it sends back the token, the, the scanner gets suspended. Okay, it does not process any further input string. Okay, it just gets suspended, and and syntax checker do the grammar check over the check over the uh, token and then asks for next token okay so this process is recursive okay till I have so so this process continues recursively till the entire input string is consumed understand so so i first so so the so the syntax checker is the master program okay so so when it when the program starts compiler program starts what the syntax checker does is it asks the lexical analyzer to to get a valid token okay now to process that request from the syntax checker, the lexical analyzer now uh, analyzes the input string, tries to do some pattern matching over, and apply some uh, that lexical analysis rules uh, over the to find a suitable substring or token. Okay, then it creates that token and sends back to syntax checker, 
and as soon as it sends back it gets suspended it does not perform any further pattern matching okay now the syntax checker then performs grammar check over that available token okay and then it is successful if if that check is successful over that token then it asks for the next token from the lexical analyzer okay and this process continues recursively okay so this way a lexical analyzer works now so you can see here that uh, both syntax checker and the lexical analyzer are are somewhat tightly coupled because because every time the syntax checker is asking for a token then only the lexical analyzer is do its anal is doing its analysis okay but it is it is very important to to so lexical analyzer is keep, kept as a independent module in compiler design so the main reason why a lexical analyzer is kept as an independent module because this way first of all the the main advantage is that it is more structured okay and we can give give an object oriented look oops look object oriented look to the software okay the basic reason is that first second the compiler portability is enhanced what does that mean so different computers may have different io setup okay so 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 uh, so fitting that fitting a given compiler into the machine uh, to understands the means to how to read the inputs from a given computer so all those things are confined by uh, by making the lexical analyzer as an independent module i am restricting all those things to a given stage only okay so 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 the io specific input output specific constraints for a given machine okay are handled solely by the lexical analyzer and hence the main compiler engine that is the syntax checker the semantic checker the intermediate code generator and all those things are totally independent totally independent of it okay this is the main reason now third i can have i can have so we'll discuss how a lexical analyzer is implemented i can have a different implementation of lexical analyzer for a given compiler okay by making it independent we can have different implementation of a lexical analyzer for a given compiler okay so these are the main advantages of making a lexical analyzer as an independent module okay now now let us try to see the main thing that is how to build a scanner so what are the basic step that involves the creation of a scanner okay how how we can create a scanner for a given language then only we can see the advantages of flex and lex flex and uh, lex the available tools that are present in the market to create a scanner okay so how to build a scanner So the steps are first is specify the valid tokens of a 
given language in terms of what we call as a regular expression okay i'll i'll talk in brief what a regular expression means because all uh, regular expression has already been covered in the finite automata so you people must be remembering that okay then create a non deterministic finite automata let me write it down non deterministic stick finite automata from the regular expression okay and thirdly converting the ndfa to a dfa so these three things are there uh, to create a scanner okay so i can say so just a second so there are three things we should know first is what is a regular expression okay so the main concepts behind creating a scanner is a regular expression second is a non deterministic finite automata okay how you will create a non deterministic finite automata from a regular expression and then once you have created a ndfa since comp normal computer does not understand ndfa so we convert the ndfa to a dfa okay the finite set of states with a finite set of transition finite uh, transitions okay so so these three things constitutes a scanner okay now uh, let us quickly go through what a regular expression is if time permits uh, so let so today uh, so let me give you the first the definition of regular expression so what regular expressions are they are a way to represent the words of a given language okay and they are represented in terms of what we call as so let me start a new page so so regular expression okay so regular expressions are nothing but they are uh, a way to represent the strings or words of a given language that means if i have been given a regular expression then i can build infinite set of words one or infinite set of words that corresponds to that regular expression okay of a given language so i can say that if r is a regular expression then in automata terms what is lr lr is the language generated by the regular expression okay now this regular expression for they are what they consist of smaller atomic expressions okay so they consist of smaller atomic expressions and a basic set of operators okay that can be applied over those regular expressions so let us now try to define it okay so regular expression r is defined recursively as first now so my so regular expression r e is represented as first is phi phi is a regular expression okay that corresponds to what
empty language okay this so you cannot reach a final state okay because it's an empty language okay second is epsilon that is a, there is a subtle difference between subtle difference between phi and epsilon so phi, epsilon is another regular expression that corresponds to what we called singleton language that means this language has a single word and that word is epsilon okay it is called singleton language okay third every alphabet from the alphabet set sigma of the language is a regular expression okay so these are the basic atomic expressions which i am which i was talking about so phi is a atomic expression is a regular expression that corresponds to empty language epsilon is another regular expression correspond to singleton language every alphabet from the alphabet set sigma is a regular expression and fourthly the main important thing is if r and s are regular expression then what is r plus s is nothing but union of two regular expression is also regular okay r s this is called concatenation okay this is also a regular expression so if r and s are two regular expression then their concatenation will also be a regular expression and what is r star so this star operator is called lean closer okay so 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 to know about so about so to know more about all these uh, regular expressions you can see our video lecture on regular expression in automata theory class okay is a, is a regular expression so this way we define the regular expressions okay okay so we will discuss more about this in the next class